I'm Roy Lee Lindsay with the North Carolina Pork Council, and I want everyone to remember, bacon makes everything better. Folks, David Glenn here at the ACC Tournament in Washington, D.C. with the North Carolina Sports Network coming at you with ACC Tournament Fun Fact number 8. On average, exactly once every three ACC tournaments, the ACC Player of the Year goes on to win the Everett Case Award as the ACC Tournament MVP. This has happened 23 times in 69 events. Again, one out of three. The 2024 Player of the Year honoree, senior guard R.J. Davis, of course, plays for UNC, the top seed here in D.C. this week. Only four UNC players have ever completed this difficult double. Lenny Rosenbluth, way back in 1957. Larry Miller, twice, back-to-back in 1967 and 1968. Antoine Jameson in 1998. And that Tyler Hansbro guy in 2008. The most recent ACC example came in 2019 with Duke freshman Zion Williamson. On average, by the way, about once every four years, a player who did not even make any of the All-ACC teams that year emerges very soon after those honors are announced to capture the ACC tournament MVP honor. This occurred more frequently before 1990 when the all-conference teams were expanded from 10 players first and second team, five each, to 15 players, first, second, and third team, five each, all ACC. Overall, this happened in 17 of the first 69 events, most recently when Virginia Tech guard Hunter Couture was the ACC tournament's MVP in 2022. Finally, since freshmen became eligible in men's basketball back in 1972-73, only seven have won the ACC tournament MVP honor, and three of those examples came before the turn of the century. The full list is Phil Ford in 1975, Sam Perkins, 1981, also of UNC, of course, Jerry Stackhouse in 1994, Duke's Jason Williams in 2000, UNC's Brandon Wright in 2007, Zion Williamson in 2019, and just last year, Duke's Kyle Filipowski turned the trick. Perkins, Wright, Williamson, and Filipowski also won the league's Freshman of the Year honor in that same season, which was first awarded back in 1976, the year after Phil Ford's amazing rookie campaign with the Tar Heels. Williams was the runner-up to UNC's Joseph Forte in 2000, Jay Williams. Stackhouse happened to be a freshman in the same season as Maryland's Joe Smith, who won the 94 Freshman of the Year honor, and a guy named Tim Duncan, at Wake Forest. If you enjoy our content, please please join the tens of thousands of people already following us and visiting us on some combination of our ncsportsnetwork.com website. Again, that's ncsportsnetwork.com. Our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other social media accounts, the NC Sports Net, or at David Glenn Show, plus our brand new North Carolina Sports Network channel on YouTube, which you can always find at youtube.com slash the NC Sports Net.